This is a brief upload on the 22nd of April um, with regard to the human rights abuses occurring in Tralee County Kerry. As I've mentioned, I'm experiencing unlawful actions and I'm experiencing um, very serious human rights abuses simply due to hate crime. Um, as I've discovered, there has been um, a simple fact established this morning that there are individuals of the agencies that have caused very dangerous offences against my son and I um, in my proximity. It's established the culprits that have facilitated harms, damages and losses to my child and I actually in my proximity. Now it's bad enough that they caused the damage that they caused in January 2017 and it's bad enough that they have been facilitating the obstructions and slander of my character, reputation and good name. But in the proximity that, I, that I'm that i at, um, there are actually individuals not just disturbing the peace, but they're actually intruding and discussing my personal livelihood. These people have no right to discuss me. <clears throat> I'm a law-abiding citizen. Um, I have no criminal track record. I have not been involved in criminal activity. And um, I have experienced abuses, harms, damages and losses. So there are people outside this building and they're discussing my private phone call to personal um, acquaintances and family members. So that's very invasive and intrusive and that's a very dangerous offence against the democracy and the human rights declaration. So these people are taking this vendetta of offences beyond a joke. It's it's very serious. Um, people that have been liable and that are liabilities and that have been of cybercrime. Identity theft, financial theft, this is what I'm tolerating. And I'm just really concerned about how people think a universal light worker, a royal mom, and a teacher, a recovery advocate, um, is to in any way tolerate this kind of a situation when they've stolen so much. So I'm concerned about the authorities that are in any way um, cognizant of what I'm experiencing and the culprits outside this building publicising with their developments in society my personal livelihood. Now, they haven't even respected regulations within my proximity. They haven't respected their own regulations. They have damaged the environment of this abode and they have been in my proximity and they have been a fraud and theft and slander. Now, they've offended my baby boy since 2017, and I'm just wondering about the children's agencies and representatives and advocates of children's rights as a teacher and a mother with regard to these people being tolerated and endangering society since damaging sacred royalty. So there's a very serious matter when people aren't paying respect or dues where they owe respect and use. I've done the work for a long while and I've been a very good mother and a very good teacher. And these people insulting my reputation, character and good name and violating proximity in this building and outside of this building I hope the relevant agencies are aware of what I'm tolerating. It's deplorable. Now, they've damaged health and bodily integrity. They're all human rights abuses. So there, I might be just one person. But as one person, I have helped many at home and abroad. And these people have just desecrated and disrespected. So there's no tolerable excuse for any of this. And a child missing from his mother, which is the simple fact of the matter, and authorities not addressing the offences. There is no excuse for any of this and it's absolutely inexcusable. So this morning, this afternoon, in the time frame since I got up to the present moment, these people are 
disturbing the peace inside and out outside of this building. I'm very seriously concerned about how humanitarians feel about this situation. A missing child and guilty offenders against my son and I, disturbing the peace and relaying matters that are of absolutely no concern for other public arenas or forums. And these people have publicised matters they shouldn't have even been discussing. They have no right to be intruding upon a private citizen especially where they've trespassed. So I'd appreciate the United Nations and all the humanitarians realising that there has been huge disrespect in a community where people are taking liberties and discussing matters that they have no right to discuss.